Hey guys, it's Bank from About PC Gaming here. Sorry, I haven't done any content in a while, I've been quite busy, but not too busy to talk about Nvidia's silent launch of the Titan XP. Now, you're probably wondering, we've already got the Titan XP, but they've actually gone ahead and released a full fat GP102 core, which has 3840 CUDA cores. That's pretty much as maximum as you can get from one of their wafers and They've gone ahead and rebranded the Titan X as a full core chip and we all know why they're doing this. Nvidia pretty much just want to keep the milk flowing and they've gone ahead and responded to their GTX 1080 Ti cannibalizing the regular Titan X and let's, you know, let's not beat around the bush. No one in their right mind is going to buy a Titan X anymore since the GTX 1080 Ti launch. It's actually even faster than the Titan X in most games. And you know the Titan X winning out in some but not enough in my opinion. So what they've done is they've gone ahead and given the Titan X you know a new lease of life really and they've not only given it the full um full core 300, 3840 but they've also increased the TMUs up to 240 and have also improved the memory. You know how they improved the memory on the GTX 1080 Ti up to 11 gigabits per second. They've gone on one step further and increased that to 11.4 gigabits per second. That with a 384 bit um, bus with GDDR5X gives you a staggering 547.7 gigabytes per second in terms of memory bandwidth. That's just almost touching um, high bandwidth um, memory levels now that is quite staggering for GDDR5X so you probably won't have any issues with memory bandwidth anymore um, they've also say they're going to fully support 8k 60 hertz so if you've got the means to buy two of these bad boys you might have a little more mileage out of it than you may have initially thought if you do intend to upgrade to 8k um, these cards and maybe have to to drive um, 8K monitors at 60 Hz, so that's pretty awesome. Obviously, driving a game at 8K is going to take some grunt, but if any card can do it, this card will give it a good effort. So, what do I think of it? I mean, it is appealing. There is a certain appeal to having the most powerful single GPU around. Um, not everyone favors SLI. I'm, I myself have two GTX 1080s in SLI, and I'm pretty and I'm still interested to see how this does against a GTX 1080 Ti um, they've also done a different little different on on the actual design of the card as you know they've gotten rid of the DVI port just to increase airflow they've done the same again same 250 watt TDP though and the same 8 and 16 um, connectors for the PCI Express power connector so there's no difference in terms of power as well but um, no benchmarks because again a silent launch so no, no one really knows how it performs but at best um, it should be performing you know 10% at least 10% faster than a 1080 Ti a stock 1080 Ti that is so um, how much is this going to cost you in the UK you're going to have to pay £1,159 it's in stock now so if you have the means to acquire one you can do so now you don't have to wait until the end of the month or anything like that so they 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 touting this as you know the world's most advanced GPU architecture. You know all the bells and whistles, design excellence, just the usual marketing from Nvidia. So they've gone ahead and given the Titan X a new lease of life. That's my take on it, really. Um, this will sell. Don't get it twisted. For those of you thinking that um, that you don't understand. The appeal of having the most powerful graphics card around that that in itself will sell it itself there's people out there that will do that um, another thing I want to talk about as well moving away from the Titan X I've actually bought myself a new monitor the Acer XR 342CK this is an ultra ride 3440 by 1440 curved monitor IPS panel 75 Hertz does have the possibility of overclocking possibly up to 100 Hertz if I'm lucky um, no guarantee though this will be coming 
tomorrow morning. This used used to go for seven hundred and forty nine pounds ninety nine. It has now dropped to six hundred, and I thought, what the hell? I may as well get myself one, um, as I'm due a new monitor anyway. Um, so another reason I purchased this as well is because, as I said, I own two GTX 1080s. While they will push 4K at 60 FPS in most games that support SLI, there are titles um, that don't support SLI and a single GTX 1080 quite frankly is just not cutting the mustard and um, at 3440 by 1440 an overclocked GTX 1080 handles itself very well so I no longer need to worry about games that do not support SLI because um, it will do the business on its own so um, if you're wondering if I'm gonna get one of these cards um, it is appealing but I'm not gonna budge I know um, things will change once AMD Vega releases and also I'm pretty sure once Volta comes as well um, it may change things um, quite drastically in terms of performance so I'm just sitting on the fence I'm like I said I'm very happy with the performance I have and I've got no um, no real reason to upgrade in terms of GPU power so just to have a quick look um, Guru 3D I've got the GTX 1080 which is what I'm more interested in because I own it. Nine teraflops, and the full fact gives you 12 teraflops. So that is quite an increase, 320 gigabits per second up to 548. So if you want this single, uh, you know, performance king, this is definitely going to do it for you. It's just going to cost you a hell of a lot of money. But uh, I'm definitely eager to see the benchmarks when they arrive. So. That's pretty much it for me. I don't really want to go on too much about it. Um, we don't know enough about it yet, but um, you know, Nvidia keeping that milk flowing and essentially rebranding the Titan X. I got no no problems with it. You know, it's all about um, you know pushing new technologies and breaking new boundaries. I like to see it, and you know, for the people that get angered by this, why you know, we want to see um, hardware pushed to its limits. So. If you love graphics cards as much as me, you know, this isn't going to upset you in any way. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video, which will probably be my monitors unboxing, which should arrive tomorrow morning. See you guys later. Thanks for watching.